Right, Hello, my name is Joanna Swinton and I'm one of the designers for Cup TV for craftsuprint.com and I want to have um, a few minutes to show you these 3D cards that I've been making. This is one that's Christmas stars and the bauble and there's quite a few of these cards and the snowman. Now the snowman is an exception to the rule to all the others because he's not perfectly symmetrical and I'll just give you a couple of tips on finishing him off when I finish this card. We're making a gold version of this today and I designed this card really with males in mind because they're very very hard to make cards for to buy for at Christmas as well so this is the one that we're going to be making. So I've done the main section of the card, um, I've cut that piece out because that's the way that I wanted to do it and added some glitter when I've stuck it to the card as well. You'll notice that all of the shapes that we do the 3D with have a faint line down the centre and that's just to help you to make it so is it straight. So as well as cutting that piece out, I've cut out my other bauble pieces. Now what I've asked you to do in the instructions that you've been given is to print on the back of the same sheet as you have done on the front so you'll get a backing on them as well so that they don't, you won't have great big white areas you'll have you know the, the, the areas will merge into each other so for this one we've got baubles so I've already done the creasing, the score and crease for these and these do come as hand done or they come for the cameo or for the robo as well. I scored my line down the centre Oops. and I always tend to do that and it helps a little bit too. Right. Now the bit that I tried to explain on the instructions that I found very difficult was this next bit. What we've got to do is to get these pieces so that they stick out properly. So the first thing you've got to do is with the wrong side facing, so you've got that bit in the middle, just put a little thin line of glue, whichever glue you use, along the top of this crease. Now you don't need very much at all. So what I tend to do is I put a line on and then I just run my fingers along and take some of the excess off. I always end up wearing most of my cards anyway. And then just pop it onto that fold, that line that's in the middle and hold it up for a, a minute or two depending on the glue that you use. I wouldn't use um, double sided sticky tape, I would use a proper wet glue. And then do the same for the other two pieces. That's just slightly off there. Let's push it back on. Yep. And again, just take any extra bit off. For your next piece, you're going to put one on either side of this now. So push it over, line it all up so it's perfectly lined and push it in so that it's nice and close. What you don't want to do is to stick any parts of this onto your card and do exactly the same on the other side
when you open your kit you will have one or two sheets with your extra bauble star or whatever it is you're having the Christmas trees are particularly nice um, so it's one or two of those you will have the front main card and insert as well and in that goes give it a push make sure it's in nice and tight just come off there a bit there we go make sure that they're not sticking together at all okay and leave that to dry with it being a wet glue it will need dry time lovely okay and when you finish that you'll have your insert fold it in half and stick it in I'm not going to put one in because I haven't decided who the card's for and that's why I haven't put a greeting on the bottom yet because I haven't decided and when I do decide I like to make my inserts you know personalised now the beauty of this card is that you can then fold it flat and just your ordinary envelopes in it goes and that's why I didn't bother to do an envelope and I did an insert instead so you've got no problems with the post and it's not going to get wrecked like some do now with the snowman and any other that's not symmetrical and I don't know what I will be doing in the future so you might have one that's not symmetrical besides this one you'll see that You've got the snowman's arm there and him holding things here. Now what you need to do then is to first put your centrepiece in just like we did before. And before you put your next piece in, glue it up just the same. Just make sure that they are the same piece like those are. Then it will naturally match up on the piece of paper so the only difference with non-symmetrical one is you must make sure that your next pieces are in the right order okay so i hope you've enjoyed that and uh, if you've got any questions at all please do contact me you can always contact me through the site and i'm more than happy to answer any questions i'm doing a new set at the moment as you can see with this one that they're not cutouts, that they are actually going to be pictures. Um, so I've done one at the moment that's full of robins and it's very, very pretty for a female. This one's lovely for a male. I try and think of things that will do both sexes as well, equally as much. So if you have anything that you would like or any questions please contact me it's joanna swinton craftsyouprint.com thank you for watching